If you spend your fair share of the day on the internet, you'll have heard of quite a few conspiracy theories. From the CIA's alleged research into mind control to the fierce online disagreements over Earth's real shape, most of them don't come across as mind-blowing or even that surprising. By now, almost all of the most popular ones have been discussed and debunked. That, however, doesn't mean that we are anywhere close to running out of conspiracy theories. There's a new theory for every old one that we solve or forget about, and some of them don't even sound that ridiculous. In fact, give or take minor changes to the overall premise, and some of these new conspiracy theories might even be true. Number 8. The Glee Curse Glee is one of those intrinsic parts of pop culture that most people no longer care about or never did, but it still exists among a handful of diehard fans. While the show ran for six seasons and the last episode aired in 2016, Glee still shows up across the internet in the form of memes, in-jokes among fans, and one particularly dark conspiracy theory. Known by its believers as the Glee Curse, the theory claims that the entire cast of Glee suffers from a harrowing curse that will eventually end up killing all of them, or at least causing them significant trouble. It may sound absurd, as there's no scientific reason to believe that curses exist, though the theory does have some backing in reality. Quite a few cast members or their relatives have died since or during the airing of the show. It may be a coincidence, probably is, though that could be said for all conspiracy theories that also make a bit of sense. Number 7. The Tommy Westfall Universe For those who remember the 1980s shows and elsewhere, it ended with the rather clever revelation that all the events through its six seasons were actually happening in the head of the kid Tommy Westfall. While it was a wholly unremarkable and forgettable series, minus the nostalgia attached to it, the last five minutes of the finale ended up spawning one of the most overarching conspiracy theories in television. The Tommy Tommy Westfall Universe. According to the theory, Tommy didn't just imagine the events of that show, but rather all shows. Ever. Anything from the show that repeats in other universes, props, actors, locations, etc. could be used to lend credence to this theory. Of course, there are certain restrictions on the shows that could be included, as it only works with shows with a continuous storyline. There can't be any fictional universes within those shows either, as that comes with its own set of complications. But other than that, a mind-blowing number of popular shows such as Newhart, Murphy, Brown, Breaking Bad, Friends, and Everybody Loves Raymond's have some connection to St. Elsewhere, so it stands to reason that they're merely the imagination of Tommy Westfall too. While the theory has been around for a while, it shows up in chat forums every time a new show that fits the criteria airs, adding a bit more nuance to the ever-expanding theoretical universe. Number 6. Finland doesn't actually exist. Anyone who has been to Finland could tell you about its beauty. A developed and prosperous country by all means, even if a bit underpopulated and boring, Finland has been an important nation in the history of Europe for as long as anyone can remember. All of that, however, wasn't enough to convince one Reddit user named Ragans, who had incidentally grown up believing an alternate version from his parents. He believed that Finland is not real, but rather a hoax maintained by Russia and China to continue having access to the rich fishing waters in the Baltic Sea. Of course, any one of the 5.5 million Finnish people could easily debunk that, though the theory has taken on a life of its own since it was published some four years ago. Everything in Finland, according to the few proponents of the theory, is an elaborate ploy to keep the fishing arrangement between Russia and Japan intact, including Nokia and the Trans-Siberian Railway Line. Number 5. Conspiracies Around CERN CERN is an acronym for Conseil European pour la Recherche Nucléaire, also known as the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It's by far the biggest physics laboratory dealing with particle science in the world, housing some of our most advanced technology. The experiments at CERN are good news for most of us, but it doesn't sit too well with conspiracy theorists. CERN is at the center of all sorts of theories around the internet, ranging from experiments with parallel universes and artificial black holes to time travel. If they were all true, scientists are much more powerful and sinister than we ever gave them credit for. In all honesty, though, we can never say for sure, as most experiments that go on inside the lab are secretive and too high level for the layman to even understand. Number 4. The world did end in 2012. The world seems to be in a particularly bad spot right now, from massive civil wars to previously strong economies struggling to even pay their bills on time, and almost none of us saw it coming. It begs the question, where did it all go wrong? According to one theory, we have a precise answer to that. 
2012. The supporters of the theory claim that the prophecy that predicted the end of the world in 2012 did actually come true, and we branched off to another timeline around that time. That's why completely improbable events like Trump's presidency, the COVID-19 pandemic, and Brexit now happen with much more frequency than before. It didn't just happen randomly either, if the theory is to be believed, but through the discovery of the Higgs boson, the god particle in the same year. Number three, Facebook's 10-year challenge could be a face recognition tool. Facebook's 10-year challenge was a viral trend in early 2019 that had everyone from everyday folks to celebrities comparing their photo from 10 years ago to how they look now. It was a seemingly harmless trend as there are few ways that one could exploit that to one's advantage. Unless, of course, we're talking about Facebook. According to some, the challenge was actually a long-term ploy by Facebook to improve its facial recognition algorithm. The before and after pictures would give it a fair idea of how we looked 10 years ago compared to now, in turn providing it with valuable insight into how people's appearance changes as they age. Of course, this doesn't have to be a conspiracy theory at all, as Facebook has stated multiple times that they do use facial recognition to improve their services. Regardless, the theory did stop the trend from going too viral, as we don't need to make Facebook's already invasive algorithm even better at its job if we can help it. Number two, Donald Trump is actually a high-level operative against the US. No matter which political side you're on, it's hard to deny that Donald Trump has made his fair share of questionable statements and decisions since taking his place in the Oval Office. Perhaps it's because we're living in the social media age, which most former presidents were lucky to avoid, but it seems as if every slip-up and silly mistake Trump makes, anyone excited about colonizing Nas or care for some kafifi is magnified. He's also tweeted classified military information and has had his fair share of criminal allegations, including a recent investigation for fraud. Taken as a whole, it's enough for many people to sit back and wonder, how does any of this make sense coming from the President of the United States. Well, according to one corner of the internet, it actually makes perfect sense. Trump is so full of mistakes because he has been trained by America's enemies to bring it down from the inside. Variations exist as to who these enemies are, though Russia seems to be the most probable candidate. Some versions of the theory do make some great points, though it's all those things we'll never actually be able to confirm. Number one, the Mandela Effect. Quickly, do you remember how Nelson Mandela died in prison sometime in the 1980s? Well, a lot of people would probably answer yes, and could even remember details like riots in South Africa after his funeral, as well as a vague recollection of his widow delivering a public speech. If you're one of the people who do remember it like that, even if it's a complete figment of our imagination, and Mandela actually died outside prison in 2013, you may be living in a parallel universe. Known as the Mandela Effect, named for obvious reasons, the theory that different people remember different instances of the same memory because of branching alternate universes has been around since at least 2010. However, it has expanded to include many other similar glitches in the matrix, like the spelling of Berenstain Bears, the color of the C-3PO bot in Star Wars, or whether the Queen in Snow White says mirror mirror on the wall or magic mirror on the wall. It's the latter. It has all sorts of implications for our reality, like time travel and different universes based on multiple outcomes in our daily lives, though we don't really have the scientific tools to confirm or deny it just yet. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. And as always, thank you for watching.